Okay guys, if this is the first time you've never solved a Rubik's Cube, this might be a good chance for you to solve one. So first of all, I'll show you a scramble. So it goes, then you turn it, then you turn it again, then you turn it one more time and do that one. So now we should be on the same page. So there are really seven easy steps. The first one is getting the white cross and lining up these pairs right here. So as I see, I see a white edge piece and the green center piece. Sorry, no, edge piece. So you want to put that one on top of the green, so, but it doesn't line up. So you turn the cube, you go up, turn to the side. So now you insert it into the whites. So now you do that. So you have this, so you have this one. It's out, so you want to take it out by doing by pushing up, not going this way, and then pushing back down. So then you have the green back inserted. So now you have this orange and white piece. So put that one on top of the orange, and that'll fit it in. But now you don't have the green, so insert it back. So then you have this red piece, put it on top, turn the cube, boom, boom, and then you have this piece right here. So now the one that you don't have is the blue. So it's right here, and this one is already lined up. And then you put that in, it should have the white cross. So the next thing is, is solving the white. So you want to get these corners, and that's what everybody fails on. So this corner is not right because it would have blue and red, but this one has green and orange. So let's look for another one. So this one, green and red, you want to push it where it says green and red and white. So it needs to insert down right here. So how you do that is the right-handed four moves, which it goes up with your right hand, push with your right hand, down with your right hand, and then push with your left hand. So now that one's inserted right there. So now you have this one, red and blue, red and blue, and then you do the right-handed four moves up, push with your right hand, down, push with your left hand. So you can write this on a piece of paper, which it would be like, yeah, so... So this one is green and orange, so let's put that one in the middle of green and orange. Green and orange, so that one's good. But this one, you can have to do it more than once. So one, two, three, four, five. So then that one's inserted, and you only have one more corner left. So you find that corner, it's right here. Now put that one on top. So yes, you could do the left hand corners, but if you just want to, you can just do the right hand corners. And then it's inserted. You can slow that down and see how I did that. So now you have the whole entire white completed. Okay, so now when you're done with the white, you should have an entire line of the right color. And if you flip it, I call these the little T's. So then, so you want to make this where it makes a big T or a normal T. So you want to, so this piece needs to insert right here, right? So you actually kind of, what I say is you want to make it not go into that space. Then you do the right hand of moves. Then you turn to green. And then you do the left hand, which is up with your left hand, push with your left hand, down with your left hand, push with your right hand. So now this one is inserted. Sorry, guys. So now we're, this piece should go on the top of the green. This one's green and orange. So you want to, so this piece, how I also like to think of it, orange and orange. So you want this orange to be across from that orange. So you want to push it away so it's across. And then you do the right hand fingers, and left handed, I'll say it again. Up with your left hand, push with your left hand, down with your left hand, push with your right hand. So now that piece is inserted. So now another thing is, here's another one. So you push it away where blue is across. Then you do the right handed fingers, then you turn to blue, then you do the left handed. So now that one's inserted, and you only have one more piece to go, which is right here. So it's already lined up. Make the red across from the red, then do the right hand fingers, then left handed. But not all the time you have to do that. If you push it this way, then you have to do the left handed first, then right handed. So yeah, then you have the second row done. So now that you have the white done and the middle layer, now you want to do the top cross. So let's just say there's only one right here. 
So then you want to turn it like this. Do the right handed fold moves two times, and then turn it back, and you should have the white cross. If there's just an L right here or right here, then you want to put that one to the top. You turn it. Sorry, wait. You do this two times. You turn it, do it two times, and turn it back. Then it has the white cross. If there's none of them, then you turn it, do it once, and then put the L to the top right here. Then you turn it back down. The right handed fold moves two times, and then there should be the white cross. Or in my example, if you have this yellow row right here, you just need to turn it where it's horizontal. You can turn the entire cube or just turn the top. So it doesn't matter which way it faces, it just has to be horizontal. So you want to turn it down where the green looks like this or orange, it doesn't matter which side you're on. So you turn it right here, right hand of four moves. Then turn it back and they should have the top crust. So now they have the top layer done. Now you want to make the big T's. So if you line this one up, it should have a big T, okay? So right now I have two of them right. So I would have to put this one or this one to the right of me and then one to the back of me. So in cases if you have this, you can put it to the front of you or the right of you. You do not want to put it to the back of you, and that'll take a while. So if you do it to the front, well, here's the algorithm. If you have the front, put on the front, then I think this one should also be solved. If you have them across from each other, then you have to put one at the front, and then these two, then you turn that one. So if you do it at the front, you should push up with your right hand, push with your right hand, push down with your right hand, push with your right hand, Push up with your right hand, two times with the left, then down with your right hand, and this one's solved, and this one's solved, and then all of them are solved. So, if you have these two correct, right here, then you turn it, and it's only one time. So, but if you only have one correct, then do what I did. So now we have all of the big T's. Now because we all, we all, we have all the big T's, now we're looking for the corners and see if them, them right. So this one is red and blue and yellow. Yellow, right? But this one's orange and green, so this one's incorrect. So this one is yellow, blue, orange, red, green, yellow. So that one's wrong. So green, orange, yellow, yellow, blue, red. That one's wrong. And green, red, yellow, yellow, blue, blue. Yellow, orange, blue. So now none of them are correct. So you can do this algorithm anywhere. It goes like this. Push with your right hand, right side up. Push with your left hand, left side up. Push with your right hand, right side down. Push with your left hand, left side down. So now we look for corners. Blue, yellow, orange. Orange, orange, yellow, green. So that one's incorrect. This one. Orange, yellow, green. Red, yellow. You red, yellow, green. So that one's incorrect. Blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. So this one's correct. So put your finger on this one. Then you have this one is incorrect. Red, green, yellow. Yellow, blue, blue, orange. So this one's correct. So then you do the algorithm from this one to the right of you. Or whichever way you're looking. This corner should be right here. Not right here. So then you do the algorithm again. Push with your right hand, right side up. Push with your left hand, left side up. Push with your right hand, right side down. Push with your left hand, left side down. So now this corner is right. Red, blue, yellow. Yellow, orange, blue. I said that one wrong. Green, green, orange, yellow. And now all of them are correct. So now because you have the white, the second layer, the top cross and all the corners are right then you want to turn it to where white's on the top so what you want to do is find one of these where it faces you so this is what you do you do the right hand four moves and then you don't turn the entire cube you only turn it the bottom so then you do it again turn the bottom do it again and now the cube should be solved.